Hi there, Becky here from 168 Fitness. Uh, so over the past five weeks now, I've been giving you some top tips on how to uh, burn off all of that Easter energy, which feels like a long time ago. So I'm sure we've done it by now, um, but we're still always just trying to maintain or um, potentially losing weight as well if we've got weight loss goals. Um, and also just feeling good, feeling fitter. So we're always trying to fit exercise into our lives, uh, lifestyles and schedules. And that's what I've been hopefully helping you to do by giving you some ideas and motivation and maybe a, a touch of accountability as well um, with my recent top tips. So this week, um, my top tip for burning off some extra energy, getting you fitter, feeling good, getting you outside as well. A lot of my top tips have involved uh, being outdoors and um, I can't um, stress enough how how important that is and how it's just really great for well-being physical mental health as well um, so uh, yeah this week as well no no different um, my top tip would be to start running and uh, over the next few weeks from now as well I'm going to be giving you uh, my top tips on how to get started with running from absolute beginner never run before or haven't run for a long time um, that level and potentially upwards as well even if you have been running you might find my advice useful as well um, but uh, yeah my advice would be to try and start running so if you've if you have run before then me telling you to go out for a run um won't probably be too much of a big deal it would just be a case of um getting yourself motivated getting it planned in when you're going to go getting in the right mindset and just going and doing it um physically you'll probably be absolutely fine i'm sure most people would be fine to go out and just do a run but if you've never run before there's going to be a few more psychological barriers to um going out for a run but uh, this week i want you to if you've never run before i want you to get try and get yourself into that mindset if you've always been a little bit curious and maybe you see people running and you think oh i wish i could do that well pretty much most people would be able to it's just a case of starting uh, in the right way and and getting in the right mindset and just getting out there and doing it that is the main thing really um there will obviously be people that aren't able to because of injuries and um and reasons why they can't and that's absolutely fine running doesn't have to be for everyone if you can't run then um, try and go for a walk instead um or if you can't run outdoors um, if you can um, find yourself a treadmill or um, a mini trampoline even you can run on one of those uh, that might be an alternative solution lower impact as well on the trampoline um, but if you would like to run and you feel physically like you would be able to run you're just not sure how to get started then try and get yourself in the right mindset get yourself ready so that next week when I'm giving you my top tips on how to get started um, you'll be ready for that so that's going to be my top tip this week if you feel like you can just take yourself out for a run then go do that that would be fantastic and um, try and fit in maybe a, a 20 to 30 minute run between now and when I see you next that would be great but um, yeah I'm going to be back with some more top tips next week so I look forward to that if you need any help or advice please do get in touch and I would love to help you get fitter feel great in the uh, lead up to summer so I'll see you then